This is Shannon Wong in Austin, Texas. I'm going to present this case of placement of a CyPass microstent for management of glaucoma. The CyPass is indicated for concurrent use at the time of cataract surgery. This is the insertion mechanism. We're told to place pressure at the tip where the yellow arrow is. This is the zoomed in view of the microstent itself. There are notable three retention rings that are visible distal to the collar of the stent. One needs to develop a familiarity with the gonioscopic anatomy of the anterior chamber angle to place this microstent which fits into the supraciliary space. The patient does note a small amount of discomfort on initial placement of the stent and in this case you can see the patient moves just a little bit. This is our early experience with the CyPass micro stent. Some cases there is bleeding from the area of placement and in some cases there's no bleeding whatsoever. In this case there was a little bit of blood so we managed it by placing additional viscoelastic into the eye. Proper placement endpoint is notable by the collar of the CyPass microstent lining up evenly with the pigmented trabecular meshwork. Placement of an eye stent is similar in nature to placement of the CyPass microstent. Both uh, are fairly, uh, fairly easy to place. Our early experience has been positive with the CyPass microstent. The CyPass should be a nice addition to our tool chest of modalities available to treat glaucoma. To help patients reduce their reliance and dependence on eye drop medications for pressure control. Thank you for your time and attention.